Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is draw debug plane. I'm gonna hit replay and we're gonna play our example and we're gonna see a debug plane. A plane being basically a flat object with some dimensions. And in this case, it's actually two-sided. So we can see the debug plane on both sides. And if you look carefully, there's an arrow indicating the normal or up or outward facing direction. Now this node has a few things funny with it. It requires advanced usage of math. And by advanced usage, I, I don't mean anything totally hard, but if you know quaternions, you'll understand how this works. If you don't, like me, you'll be super confused. So let me show you how it works. Let me show you how I'd expect it to work based on the input, and then we'll show you how to make it work. So the inputs here, here's our default settings. And our first one is our plane coordinates. And our plane coordinates is gonna be a structure of four floats. In this case, I'm making a plane structure out of four floats. And we have W, X, Y, and Z. Now, if I go ahead and run this example here, we see our example right here. It's a little bit above our cube. It's on top of it and it's facing up. We'll grab our settings, and these are the settings I'm used to show that. So it's kind of what you'd expect. Our Z variable is one, which means Z is facing up, and that's why we have our arrow facing up. That's our plane right there. And our W is 100, which you'd think would be the offset. If we change our W to zero, for example, it's going to disappear. Now that's kind of weird. The actual point where I'm drawing this at is the top right here. So let's change our W maybe to 50. Well, it's coming up, uh, 60. Now it's on the top. So W of 60 is actually showing it on the top where you'd think maybe our offset should be zero. Now let's try it in a different angle. Let's try instead of Z, let's try it a Y. And we'll get it over here, which is what we expect. Our Y direction is this axis right here, left to right. And it's facing Y positive with our arrow. However, a 60 offset puts it over here when zero is the middle and 50 is the edge. So if we set our offset to zero, well now it's offset 50. So it's not quite giving us the results we would think if we don't know advanced mathematics. Basically using quaternions and angles and offsets, if we know it properly, we'll get our proper plane values. So for example, something we wanted there would actually be more along the lines of a w50 and a z of maybe 0 0.5 0 0.7 and just some various numbers the nice thing is there is a node that fixes this and i say fix because it solves it for people who are not advanced at math we have the make plane from point and normal node this is really simple it works how i would expect this node to work when i think of draw debug plane that takes in a coordinate system and a location i would think okay draw the plane here and this is the direction i want it to face and that's what this node does let's fill in our point this is the point in the world where we want to start at in this case i'm putting again the top of my box and the normal is the direction it faces zero 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 is not going to give us anything so we need a positive or negative value for each of those facing directions like our normal coordinate system if we were to look at our box y positive is that way y negative is this way x positive is this direction x negative is that direction z positive is up z negative is down so if we wanted our plane to for example be over here vertically facing that direction it would be a y for the positive on our normal go back to our object set our y to positive and go ahead and hit play and now we get a plane facing that direction there is an arrow there in the middle let me offset this. So we're going to put it up 100 and hit play. Now we have our plane at our location, 100 above the middle, facing that direction. We can see the little arrow there. It's what we would expect when we use a node like this. It's not offset by 50 like we saw before, and we could easily adjust the values. If we want, for example, to be above Z of 1. And now we'll get it rotated with our Z facing up, 100 above. We'll also get the expected results of if we draw it at 0, 0, 0, and that's our point right here for the make plane facing up, it's going to be on the top facing up like we expect. 
So if you know proper math, you can use the make plane node or you fill in the valid information in here if you have the proper quaternion values. Or if you just want to simply draw a debug plane somewhere, use the make plane from point and normal node, feed in the location you want it at. So speaking of location, that is our next input here. So you'll basically feed in your location to the location node and you'll feed in your location to the point node here. Your normal is your facing direction of your normal. Positives are facing that direction, negatives are facing the other. So for example, if I did this zero and we did negative one on the Y, hopefully you know it's gonna basically be the same thing, but facing to the left. We'll have a little arrow there, which you can barely see facing to our left. The other options are simple. Size, how big it is. Now this is gonna be from the middle. That's something to keep in mind. What do I mean by that? Let's set this back to a Z of one. Let's offset it just a little bit and we'll hit play. And you notice it covers the top, exactly. This cube is 100 wide and 100 wide and technically 50 tall, and you can see it covers it exactly. So a size of 50 is drawn from the middle location. Size of 100 is gonna end up giving me something that's 200. 100 this direction, 100 this direction, 100 from the middle, 100 from the middle. Plane color is the color of your plane. It's any color you want, feel free to change it. And duration is how long this plane will be drawn for. Zero is an individual frame. Duration of anything above zero is in seconds. Right now I have it being drawn every frame on my tick. And that's pretty much it and it's gonna wrap it up. I know this was a longer video for this one, but I need to try to explain why it doesn't exactly work like you might expect it. When you draw the debug plane, you'd assume you fill in the values of where it's supposed to be and it draws it. But behind the scenes, it uses a little bit of funny math to draw it. If you're fitting in, if you're putting in a quaternion for the plane values, you're fine. If not, use the make plane from point and normal node to fill in your coordinates. Location is where the center will be. Size is how far from the center in each direction it's going to draw. The color is the color of it. And the duration is how long it will persist in the world, zero being for one frame only.